Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the TAC series. We have another box in today and uh, of course it does have the uh, Crate Club logo on the front here. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the box and find out what's inside. Alright, so uh, got these out of the bags and uh, We'll go ahead and start with the small one first, just because it's, of course, easier to uh, kind of maneuver and move around. Now, you did have this card inside. You can, uh, of course, open it up, and this is actually the warranty card. This is obviously a, uh, a canvas bag. Uh, it feels like a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent canvas here. Uh, as you can see, there are, of course, a lot of little pieces here. We've got two loops here that, of course, would go with uh, Molly equipment, as well as these two straps. Uh, and these are stiffened straps here. But uh, again, that is uh, definitely Molly gear ready. Uh, they do have their Black Hawk name stitched in right here with a, uh, a little patch there. And uh, as for the rest of it on the outside, there isn't really much of anything else there. Uh, there is a, uh, a weep hole at the bottom, of course, you know, if it happens to have any uh, fluid or anything like that. Uh, now we've got uh, the opening here, and it's a pretty decent size. I mean, this, this thing I'm going to say is probably, if you're going by the actual face, it looks like it's about 8 inches by, um, I'm going to say roughly four and a half maybe uh, let me see yeah around four and a half maybe five inches if you're looking at just the uh, the face here and then it looks like it's about uh, two inches deep when you have it fully expanded out so uh, here we've got it kind of pushed out as far as I can get it and from about there to there it's right around two maybe two and a half inches uh, deep that way. Now you do have these two kind of bungee pieces right here to kind of help keep it closed so it doesn't just flop all the way open. And then you have uh, some more kind of Molly style uh, rings in here and these are these are kind of double rings. You've got one here and then you've got one underneath and of course that's good for uh, stowing uh, maybe uh, mili or military uh, medical type uh, tools or anything like that maybe if you have um, some of the uh, the scissors and the and the whatever else that you might use for a medical bag and a first aid kit uh, you've got that now if you go and I'm just going to turn this inside out so we can see it a little bit better this makes it a little easier on us uh, so there you go you've got uh, the two rings at this top section and they're double thick and then two more on the other side then you've got two rings on the bottom piece here, uh, and they are again double thick. There's two rings there. And then you've also got this slide up section where you can uh, store more gear uh, inside that way. Uh, maybe maybe large uh, pads or something like that for uh, you know something like surgical type pads or something like that in case there's uh, a large wound or whatever. Uh, then you flip it over, you've got uh, some storage here. You've got a little ring here that you can of course hang something from if you need to. You have these very large elastic bands here um, which will of course hold some additional things but keep them very uh, very quickly accessible and uh, then uh, I mean really that's about it. There's not a whole lot to it. I mean it's a pouch. It has a couple of things here. Uh, I would say I mean in general, the, the bag itself, uh, the canvas is, is uh, pretty nice, feels uh, reasonably durable. And for this, they give a suggested retail price of uh, basically rounding up, it's uh, $36 is what they suggest this goes for. Uh, now I know these, uh, these Molly type gear bags uh, are definitely ones that um, they, they aren't necessarily cheap especially if you get one with uh, some a, a decent quality type of uh, canvas build there we go uh, let's go into the pistol bag here now this one also has molly on the side here you've got all the little rings on the side here so of course you could actually strap this right on the side of this bag here so there you go that's a that's an excellent thing you can of course have your medical bag 
right on the side of your uh, your uh, range bag for your pistols, and uh, that's definitely a great thing because you know, God forbid anything ever happens when you're at the range and somebody gets hurt, uh, at least you could have some medical supplies with you. So that actually is really nice. I, I definitely appreciate that. I've seen other bags and I haven't seen them with uh, some of the Molly attachment like that. Uh, now this of course has the two handles. It does have an adjustable strap here. All right, and then you've got this uh, this handhold right here. And I think really this is like a handhold rather than like a carry strap. Um, I think that because you've got your double zipper here and uh, if you're done at the range or you, and you need to get going or whatever, you can grab your grab your two zippers with the uh, little cross leash here, grab your hand strap, your hand hold, and boom, and you're zipped up and you're ready to go. So it's nice and quick and uh, efficient that way. Uh, you do have a side pouch here with two very large uh, uh, zippers that have the locking mechanism right there. So you can put uh, a small padlock or something like that right here uh, when the two zippers come together. So of course, helps to keep it uh, somewhat secure, you know, reduces the, the uh, wandering hands kind of thing. Now uh, this is of course the full, full length of the inside of the bag or the length of the bag. Uh, it does have a padded section here. Oh, look at that. So here we go. A padded piece right here that you can of course store your firearm in uh, now inside the actual uh, section here it is just again more of this nylon so uh, I'm sure it's definitely meant to have this uh, this kind of padded section put in here um, to uh, to keep your firearm safe I'm looking at it. I'm guessing it's probably about 16 inches. I'm thinking that that uh, that section there was probably right around between 14 and 16 inches long. Uh, now for the main compartment, of course, you've got the double zippers there, and then on top of it, you do have the standard Velcro, and uh, of course, then that opens up to a nice wide bag. And the bag here looks to be about, um, oh, I'm going to say, yeah, about six inches or so. Um, and that's, that's just from, from roughly from here, to, from, uh, from about here to here, um, it's roughly six inches. The, uh, the bottom may be a little, looks like it's a little bit wider, so it's kind of splays out a little bit at the bottom. Now you've got these uh, little dividers here. They are Velcroed in, so you can take them out and uh, have larger, uh, larger uh, items inside. So right now it's basically just split what would seem to be relatively evenly uh, inside the bag here. So you've got uh, you know one here and one here, and of course the Velcro on either side for uh, all four points there. This does have a, uh, a bottom uh, like stiffener. Uh, it doesn't seem, let me see, nope. It doesn't come out, but it does fold up, uh, out of the way. So, you know, when you need to, uh, clean your bag, maybe, uh, you throw some, some empty shells in there to maybe try and reload later or anything like that. Um, you can, of course, lift that up out of the way. You kind of shake your bag out and make sure you get everything out of there. So that's not bad. There doesn't seem to be any kind of pockets or anything like that there, uh, but it is padded also on this other side. So again, you've got this one side here that has like the padding and you can of course feel that padding. Then it, you've got the other side that has some padding of which also has the pouch on the side and it is, uh, oh, yep. It is just like the other side. So this could be one where you're carrying two different firearms and you're keeping them separate from each other and uh, in good shape because it also has its own padded uh, padded sleeve here. I, I would say I, I definitely like these. Um, now just to mention on this too real quick, they do suggest that this is a $40 bag. I would say uh, that the guys this time, they did a pretty good job. Uh, this is not a bad uh, a bad box in my point of view. Uh, obviously, 
that is my point of view. I, I, I don't know what you guys think. It's definitely up to you if you think something like this is worth it. Again, these are both by Blackhawk, so of course you guys can... Uh, can probably check them out online if you want to. And if you guys want to check out Crate Club uh, online, you can go down there in the description below. Uh, it, of course, will be down there with a link. And, uh, of course, also links to our social media will be down there as well. All right, guys. Well, once you've uh, visited down there at the bottom and checked out and left your comments and stuff, don't forget to come back up and hit that thumbs up button as well as hit the little icon that will be floating around over there in the corner. Uh, and if you don't happen to see that, hit that uh, subscribe button down below if you haven't already done so. As well, don't forget to hit that little bell icon that's down there. It'll let you know when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Uh, but, uh, you know, definitely, definitely something I think is pretty decent. Uh, Crate Club did an okay job this time. I uh, definitely think that this time it was actually worth the money. And uh, so there we go there. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. And uh, I guess this will do it for us today here on World of Me and this episode attack. I'd like to wish you all a good day. And I will see you later. Bye.